All right, well, it should be a very exciting fight. We have Lee Gibson, uh, trains here locally in Las Vegas, Nevada, at Excel Defense Studios, versus TJ Brown from the world's famous Cobra Kai Kun Gym. Uh, he has a lot of star power in his corner, a lot of guys from the uh, Ultimate Fighter series in his corner. He should be very, very equipped. Let's see what happens. Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, obviously, just Lee Gibson has a lot more experience. Uh, with seven fights and two draws, if they had two losses or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it might be interesting. Yeah. Again, PJ's undefeated. Two fights, two wins, no losses. Both fighters stand up. They exchange jabs. Uh, just filling each other out a bit. It's always exciting when you get two MMA fighters who are willing to, you know, trade standing up as well as on the ground. Yes, absolutely. Whoa, good low kick by Lee Gibson. He has very powerful looking legs. Uh, he should have really strong low kicks. Take down by TJ. TJ takes him down. Oh, well, but Gibson just, has a nice little team. choke in there. Yeah. Oh, he's coming. Uh, he's coming. All right. And down the full guard. This is where TJ should really excel. Uh, Mark Lehman trains those guys. Really good uh, uh, guard offense uh, at Cobra Kai. So he should be pretty equipped here. But he's very aggressive from the way it goes, so um, he's, he's got the upper hand at the moment. As he start running down some forearms and elbows, uh, and get some work before uh, Mr. Shirley stands him back up. Oh, half mount, half guard there. TJ needs to try to get into a full mount so he can really rain down some punches and really uh, administer some punishment to uh, Lee Gibson. I'm not quite familiar with the rules. Uh, how long do they on the ground doing nothing before uh, the referee actually? Well, there's no real protocol. If the referee doesn't see any action. He, he has, it's his discretion when he wants to stand them right. up. Okay. Uh, TJ should be very, very familiar with this position. Oh, oh reversal by Lee Gibson. Those big, strong good. legs and a great knee. Yeah, Lee looks very, very powerful. Big, strong legs. Uh, stocky. Very, very thickly built. Oh, oh that was oh, a foul shot. That was right to the corner. <laughs> yes, TJ <laughs> with the illegal knee strike. Hey, if the referee lets you get away with it, I guess it's okay. They lock in the corner, looking for a takedown. Uh, neither guy's being successful at this point. Has the underhooks there, uh, TJ does. Lee looks very strong. He seems very hard to take down. That strong, strong, low, low balance there, low, low gravity with those big legs. Oh, oh that's right, very stocky. Oh, now we have Lee. Lee with the, with the uh, mount there. He's in the, in the full guard and he's ran down some punches. Oh, there goes with triangle shoulder lock. TJ with the submission, shoulder lock by triangle. Oh, he's gonna beat the time. Oh, wow. I told you, those Cobra Kai guys trained by Mark Lehman are really, 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 really sneaky with their uh, submission tactics. Nice, exciting finish to round one of a very eventful fight. Here we are. Right, like you were saying about T.J. Brown, I mean, obviously he's got a very good camp, and uh, he displayed that in the first round. Yes. But you could have round two. Uh, it was a pretty close round there. Uh, how would you score that round, race that fool? I, I would say it was pretty even round. Um, right oh. now, Lee Gibson started off with a, a great kick. TJ lands a great overhand right off of that kick, though. I think TJ's loosening up. He's starting to try to solidify the distance a little better with his jab and throw a big overhand right. right. He's not finding his range and what have you. They square off in the middle of the ring. Oh, another jab by TJ Brown. I think uh, Gibson ran in with that low kick and got hit with the overhand right, so he's been a little... Uh, a little bit cautious. <laughs> yeah, a little apprehensive about trying to get inside and mix it up. They lock up again. Whoa, those powerful legs. Good sprawl right there. Lee has a really good, a a really good sprawl right there. Oh, good body shot he also threw. Half mount. There we are. TJ has him in a half guard there. Just before they went to ground, I thought Lee had the knee there, um, but he didn't throw it. Yeah, I, I believe the Nevada uh, State rules, if the guy's down, you can't knee him in the face. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, in Japan, where you where you fight at <laughs> most of the time, pride, that's legal. <laughs> right now, Lee 
is in a half guard. He can, if he can get his right leg out of there and get and get a full mount, he can really do some damage. Back to the full guard. Whoa! I told you one thing about the Cobra Kai fighters: they're really adequate and really, really calm about being on their backs. And, and they're always dangerous, man. Well, that's right. I mean, again, T.J. Brown. Um, but showed, yeah, you know, I, I like what he's that. doing. Kick him in his leg, make him feel some pain, so maybe he can't think about the next submission. That was a big Great right. punch. Great punch by Lee Gibson. Big right hand. Oh, but there he goes with, with a submission attempt. Oh, he's running out. Oh, he has the mount. Half guard there. I'm sure Gary Goodrich is loving this at the moment because he's a ground and pound guy. The yes. guy he's actually in the uh, on ringside at the moment also. Oh, Gary's there. We got to bring him over. Yeah, exactly. Point. Gary, you know what it is, man. You know what it is. <laughs> Gary and I fought a few years ago. Uh, it was a great fight. And, uh, he's also a good friend of mine. Big time Canadian fighter. Big daddy's in the house here at the South Point <laughs> Hotel and Casino. There we are. Lee advanced him more punishment. Oh, big right hand, good left elbow, back with a hard body strike. Lee's taking control of this round with his aggressive punching and his, his, uh, his really, really aggressive attacks right now. TJ really looks to be in a bad position. Well, TJ should be reaching out like that, so leaving himself open like yes. that. Oh, oh, whoa, that shot lands, the fight may have been over. Oh. Lee Gibson rains a few more punches and the bell stops the round. Third and final round of a very, very exciting fight here. The winner will progress and fight Kyle Olsen in the finals. It's a dead even fight, one round apiece. Uh, Mr. Seffo and I have it scored at this point. Whoever, whoever wins this round will win the fight. This is one of those moments, uh, Ray, where one big technique, one big strike, right, one, one big count. takedown could, could definitely solidify the victory for you. Oh, that's so right, yeah. I think these guys better really try to exert themselves this round. It's a very, very close fight. They're volleying back and forth. Good low kick. T, uh, TJ blocked it really well, though. I think Lee should try to get in close and take him down and overwhelm him with his with his strength and his and, and, and his ground and pound. Well, that's right. I, I mean, maybe he thinks that he's ahead, and since uh, the first round was pretty even, and then you know the second round he pretty much controlled that, yes. being the aggressor and what have you. So yes. Yes. Uh, I think Dave Brown probably needs to do something right now at this moment because it, I believe that this fight is like three minutes. Yes, per yes round, absolutely, right? absolutely right. One thing I don't like, I don't like that stall attitude because remember, TJ went for the submission at the end of the round and had Lee Gibson in big trouble. That may have won TJ the first right, that, round. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, good low kick there. He needed to talk it a little bit more, but hey, good attempt. Once he gets in close with, with the uh, right leg low kick, he should throw that left hook. I think he, he, he would catch TJ and have a lot of success with that technique. But they mix it up. Oh, well, it's interesting that they're both actually standing in this Yes, round. <laughs> yes. Great counter right hand by T.J. Brown. Oh. That's a good straight yes, body. Yes, double jab, straight right hand with Lee. I think T.J. really needs to exert himself, though. Oh, there they go, the clinch, the takedown attempt. T.J. has the underhooks. They both go for knee strikes. There he is. Oh, big takedown by Lee Gibson. Man, in the clinch, he's very strong. We got TJ Brown in the guard right now. He needs to go for a submission attempt because he's going to lose this fight if he stays on his back or, or he needs to get his hips out, uh, get some distance and get back to his feet. Lee seems pretty, pretty well versed in this ground and pound type style. Right. He's got his hands behind his head so maybe he's trying to get it. Nick Crank yes. or something? Yes, he get those hips out. He can mount uh, TJ and really administer some damage. Uh, I think TJ's trying to look for a submission on bar or something, but, but Lee's a short, stocky, really strong guy. He's not giving him much. Ten seconds left. They better do something. TJ goes for the triangle to no avail. Lee's in total control. Big, big left hand by Lee at the end of the round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the scores of the judges. Judge Al Lefkowitz scores it 29 to 28. 
and both Tony Weeks and Roy Gilbert see it the same, 30 to 27, for your winner by unanimous decision, Lee Gibson. Hey, there you have it, Lee Gibson. Uh, I'm not sure about 30 to 27. I, I thought uh, TJ Brown won the first round, but at any rate, you can't argue it was a unanimous decision win for Lee Gibson. He's a durable guy, resilient guy. He got stronger as the fight progressed. I'm really excited about the, the matchup with Kyle Olsen and Lee Gibson.